Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nicole Roche, also known as Plant Based Nicole Roche on Instagram. Welcome to my 50th birthday celebration. Everything I did and ate in LA. But first, make sure you guys go watch my last video about my fat loss transformation. I lost eight and a half pounds. Um, and it took me a very long time because I'm in menopause and things are just different now, honey boom. But I'm very happy for all the wins. So make sure you check it out. Don't just listen to it. Watch it. Watch the screen for video footage and pictures. Check check that out. Also, thanks thanks to everyone that prayed for me um, because I was praying, asking everybody to pray for me because I was sick and I needed to be better by my birthday. I still had a cough a little bit over my birthday, but I didn't feel sick. Like, you know, that sick feeling, I felt better and I had a great time. So let's get into it. But first, let's just acknowledge how fabulous I am at 50 years old. I don't feel 50. I feel like I'm 32 and I still literally can't believe I'm 50. I keep tripping every time I say the number. I just cannot receive it for some reason. Anyway, let's get into it. Day one, November 21st of my 50th birthday celebration weekend. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, I'm at the airport. <coughs> I just got to share. This man, I was about to order some avocado toast and I asked him if he could change his gloves. Because when they use gloves, they think just because they got gloves on that they're just all sanitary. No, but if you're touching meat, if you're touching like doorknobs and, and all this other stuff and then you're gonna touch my toast and my avocado, I don't want you touching it, so I want fresh gloves. He gets an attitude with me and then gives me this evil look like he wants to kill me. <laughs> I, I might be over exaggerating about killing, but no, he did, he actually did look like he wanted to kill me. <laughs> So because he looked like that, I didn't feel comfortable leaving him with my food. So I stood there because I was going to watch him. And then he refused to make my avocado toast because I was standing there as opposed to the <laughs> other side. So I was just like, you know what? And then he goes and tells his manager, like, I'm not making her food because she's standing there. So I was just like, you know what? Just forget it. Give my husband a refund. I'm going somewhere else. So on that note, for breakfast. <laughs> I had some tangerines. I had four of them per the screen. Um, this is oatmeal. I just got oatmeal and then I have some brown sugar here. I haven't had brown sugar in years. With some almonds and blueberries. So here's my breakfast. Oatmeal with blueberries and almonds. I'm going to add some brown sugar. And then I have four tangerines already. So that's breakfast at the airport. I just want to tell you in advance that my eating was way off this weekend. I ate a lot of cooked foods, a lot of sodium. My legs are swollen. I feel heavy. And I just can't wait to get back to my normalcy. Um, I ate a lot of vegan food, but it was a lot of sodium and ugh. anyway, so on the plane I had some persimmons and then I had some tangerines while watching my show on my phone Girlfriends on Netflix Although I'm 95% gluten-free every now and then I have something with gluten and I had some pretzels on the plane Oh, well, this is great. The suitcase has got stuck so this is what I got at the airport. I have that core snack and this tangerine. So first stop, Sun Cafe, one of my favorite restaurants I used to go to when I lived out here. Went to dinner with my husband's play brother and his wife. I ordered, we ordered uh, cauliflower buffalo and some nachos and we shared that along with some gyoza. Man, this is a sodium full, okay? Um, and then I ordered for myself this kale colossus salad and it has all kind of goodies in it queso kale uh, sun dried uh, I forgot Sun chorizo and some other stuff then I was full so I ordered this delicious Strawberry cheesecake to go in bruh Man, I didn't even end up eating it till like two days later. But anyway, so we just walked around. We went to Hollywood Boulevard and walked around, took some pictures in front of the tree and just hung out. Then we went to this bowling alley and sat by the bar. I'm not a drinker at all, maybe like twice a year, but my husband bought me a drink and I literally only had not even a half of it. Um, so we're just doing a toast to me, my 50th birthday. Um, I was mad I couldn't take it to go because it was actually really good. I taste most mostly juice. It tastes like the pineapple. It was so delicious. By the end of the night, I had over 10,000 steps um, for Thursday the 21st. And um, yeah, that's good because I wanted to make sure I was getting my steps in every day. Good morning. It's actually my birthday, November 22nd. I'm going to the gym in the hotel and I'm eating some tangerines. 
Let's do this. I was very proud of myself for going to the gym on vacation and let alone my birthday. Um, I started off by walking on the treadmill while eating some tangerines. <laughs> I did some legs, um, le a leg workout today. I didn't show everything, just a few exercises, but I did a lot more than what I'm showing you. And I was just walking around the hotel, looking at the um, view and everything of the lobby. It's a really nice hotel. I had an amazing time here. I'm really sad that I had to leave. I want to go back. Just worked out. I did a small workout. I just did some legs and a little bit of walking. And then I went downstairs to the hotel and got um, some oatmeal at a cafe. Cafe. I don't really like the oatmeal that has added sugar, but we're out of town. Things aren't going to be the way I want all the time. We do what we can do. I'm hungry, so I'm going to eat some oatmeal. And then I got to um, do some things. Don't you just love my shirt? I got it at Forever 21. So I tried a new vegan restaurant that I never went to even when I lived in LA for three years. Vegan joint. I got some pancakes and country potatoes. I'll give them a six out of 10. I didn't love them, I didn't hate them. It was doable. Um, I wouldn't go back and order that again though. The country potatoes, yes. The pancakes, not so much. It was nice to try something different though. I never had vegan pancakes. I met up with my friend Brenda and her beau Chuck at the Grove in LA, one of my favorite places I used to go to when I lived in LA. My husband and I, um, we just walked around and stuff. I got my makeup done that day too um, at the Grove. But yeah, we walked around and looked at all the shops. It's a really nice area. And then we were just taking pictures and doing what we do. I had to go also, um, excuse me, I also had to pick up my cupcakes. For my birthday celebration, I got vegan and non-vegan red velvet. They were delicious. I had to hit this leftover Kella salad from last night with the sun chorizo on it and some other stuff. Snack time. My old house in Koreatown, where all the struggling artists lived. My house. Oh, baby, this is so emotional. I was being silly, but at the same time, I was emotional. I lived there for two years and rented out a room and it was just really emotional going in my old area in Koreatown. Uh, next up, birthday dinner with Chuck and, and Brenda and my husband. We went to Toka Madeira. I went there eight years ago for my birthday when I lived in LA. It had a nice vibe and the food was good and um, I had a great time. This is what I ordered. It was like a chopped salad and I also ordered some like lemon rice or something. I forgot. Next up was my party. Um, I celebrated, had a lot of fun. The music was the bomb. I'm not going to lie. I brought my cupcakes there. Um, we were dancing. I danced so much that night, y'all. My feet were killing me. Um, I had to change into my flats. You always need to bring your flats when you go out. If you're like me, I can't stand heels and my feet were jacked up but i had so much fun it was about eight of us and i had a booth we had champagne two bottles of champagne and we just had a great time um in our little booth <laughs> yeah i had so much fun i'm i miss that night it was a great night i was so good happy to see my girl amanda right there and there's my sister amber my sister amber and her husband flew out and um there's leslie and her husband and my brother-in-law and yeah we had fun it was about eight of us and we had a great time here's my head to be there's leslie and charles um my girl amanda haven't seen her in eight years she lives in la so i definitely want to invite her um and there's my sister we had a great time at the end of the night i had over ten thousand steps but that's not i had way more than that i didn't have my phone on me a lot so it doesn't count the steps if the phone's not on me I probably had about 14,000 steps, plus all the dancing I did. I burned a lot of calories that day, and I had a great time, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday, the day after my birthday. I'm extremely tired, my throat hurts, and I'm starving. I'm gonna eat some grapes that I got from Target. I have a brunch at 11.30 with, um, I think there's about eight of us. Um, so I can't wait that long to eat, so I'm going to eat some grapes and then um, start getting ready. I'm so tired. I didn't go to bed till 6 in the morning. After we went dancing and stuff for my birthday, my husband, sister, 
Um, my sister and my brother-in-law, we went to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. I didn't eat anything, of course. They don't have anything I can really eat. I could have got french fries, but I didn't want to eat that because of the grease. Um, because I've been eating like really clean the last six weeks before my birthday, so I don't know if that would have made me feel bad. So I was scared to eat french fries. Um, so I just had not even tea. I just had hot water with lemon and, and honey. And those of you, I'm not a vegan for animal rights. I'm plant-based for health. Um, so I eat honey sometimes. So, all right, y'all. One more thing. I forgot. I wanted to show you guys everything I'm eating. So I also had, in the last couple of days, I had some baked pretzels that I didn't record. And then last night with that salad I had at dinner, I had ordered some, it was like some kind of rice, um, Mexican style, uh, lemon, I forgot, but I ordered some rice. Anyway, I feel heavy. I feel like I've been eating a lot of sodium and, um, and wheat, which I don't really consume often. I'm 95% gluten free. So I only have it every now and then. So this weekend I've been having, I had the pancakes, I had the pretzel, baked pretzels and some other bread. I just feel heavy. Ugh. I just want fruit and vegetables and smoothies and juices. Next up, the day after was my brunch. There was about eight of us. We had a great time. They gave me a little toast right here. Um, we had a great time. Great food. We went to Sage, which used to be a fully vegan restaurant, and it's no longer. I was really mad about that, but I didn't find out to the last minute, and I didn't want to change it. But they still have lots of great vegan options, so I was happy. And if you guys want to see this on like Instagram, um, so it just looks bigger and Go check these clips out on my Instagram, like part one, two, and three, and four of my birthday. Um, but yeah, my friend Nicole and my friend Brenda and my sister, and there was eight of us. I don't feel like naming everybody. Anyway, I had these buffalo cauliflower and this delicious breakfast bowl, and I tell you, my food was the bomb. Then my husband's sister... And I went to the garment district, with, which is like lots of shops, very inexpensive. And we walked around and just pretty much looked. Look at these BBL uh, Spanx. Anyway, then I came home and took a nap, which I didn't record. <laughs> and then I went out um, to LA Live and walked through LA Live by myself while my husband was still taking a nap. I was, I was really tired, so I took a nap after the brunch. But got to walk around and I really love LA Live. It's just, I'm a person that likes to see a lot of foot traffic and people and lights and whatnot. So I just walked around pretty much, got lots of steps in, um, and then went back to the hotel after that. So I know this isn't very pretty, but this is the breakfast bowl I had this morning. It was actually enough for three meals. So I'm having it for the second time today as leftovers for dinner. It's really late, actually. It's like 7.30. I just was not hungry. I had some the, the rest of those buffalo cauliflower for like a snack. Um, and now I'm having this, and I'm probably going to only eat half, eat the rest in the morning. So that's what I'm having the day after my birthday for dinner in my hotel room. I so only ate a little bit of that dinner. I mean, the, I only ate a little bit of leftovers, but you remember this that I got on Thursday night two days ago? I never ate it. I took it to go and I still haven't been able to eat it, but I'm going to have some of that now. Um, it's strawberry cheesecake, vegan of course, and I'm going to have a little bit of my husband's because he doesn't like his. It's key lime. I like it. So I'm just going to take a few bites of each and um, maybe finish the rest tomorrow because Monday, uh, tomorrow's Sunday. Monday's our last day, so I have to definitely have it and eat it before Monday because I'm not taking this on a plane. My husband's tripping. That key lime pie is good. He just don't have the plant-based palate. It tastes like dirt. No, it does not taste like dirt. He does not appreciate finer things. He doesn't get it, okay? It you don't like understand the plant-based way of living. It tastes like I was eating a mud pie. Okay. A literal mud pie. Boy, bye. I'm about to taste my strawberry cheesecake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is even better than key lime. Mmm. Baby, I wonder if you like this one. Like this is heck of good. Dirty strawberries, really. Mmm. Where did I get this from? Sun Cafe in LA. Y'all, if you live in LA, you must go to Sun Cafe. 
this strawberry cheesecake, this one, this is it. This is the one, y'all. Mm. Mm. It's like that one didn't taste like dirt. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. He likes my strawberry cheesecake, but not the key lime. So now I'm going to the lobby of the hotel and I'm going to do some editing because I have so much birthday footage. I'm overwhelmed. Um, I only had a couple bites of each pie, so probably like three bites of each. And then I had like half of the breakfast um, leftovers. So I still have like a serving left, probably eat it in the morning for breakfast. Um, so we don't have to go out anywhere for breakfast. And also probably might eat with some tangerines or something with it. All right. So I came to the lobby of my hotel. There was a lot of people out there. And there was a lounge and they were playing some bomb music. And my husband and I were just sitting at one of the tables. I was editing and stuff like that and just chilling. It was nice. I love that. Our hotel was really nice. The lobby was the bomb. And anyway, I got almost uh, a little over 10,000 steps. Good morning. It's two days after my birthday. It's November 23rd. No, November 24th. And I'm walking to the gym. I'm going to eat some tangerines. I'm going to work out in the hotel. And then we're gonna go out to the um, city. We're gonna go to Cafe Gratitude, um, a restaurant that I miss, and then Santa Monica Pier, and then later on a comedy show. So I started off walking, looking at this little view um, that was on the screen of the treadmill. And then I did um, some upper body. I had to cover my face because it was looking weird. I don't know. Did some weighted pull-ups. I did upper body. I didn't record everything. And then next, my husband and I went to Santa Monica Pier. I haven't been here in a long time, so I was really excited to come back. It was a very nice day. I mean, well, I mean, the sun wasn't really out. Well, at first it wasn't out. Then it came, then it started um, looking better. <laughs> doesn't take much to make me happy. I love nature. I love water. I love beaches. And I love to people watch. <laughs> anyway, it was nice there. We had a good time. Although I was recording like a video, it was supposed to be us posing so that I can do some screenshots and make them into pictures. <laughs> but anyway, we were just walking around. I was people watching, just enjoying the water and just the day. It was just a nice day. The sun started coming out, so it started feeling better. Then we went over to watch these boys um, do their little show. And we left when they started asking for donations. <laughs> Look at that beautiful water. Isn't that gorgeous? That's, that's peace right there. That's therapy right there. So I decided not to go in Cafe Gratitude. I just got my food to go. So I ordered a smoothie, a strawberry smoothie, and drank that in the car. And then I got a Grateful Bowl, which is this black beans, brown rice, and kale and tahini. It's the tahini that just makes the meal. It's so delicious. You'll see it soon. Um, after I drank the smoothie, I had some raw almonds and some tangerines for a snack. And then for dinner, I had the Grateful Bowl, and it was yummy. It's not very pretty, but it's delicious. And I'm going to tell you, I don't know what they did to them beans, but I had gas like a mofo when I went to the comedy show. That wasn't cool. So November 24th, last event of the weekend, comedy show at the Laugh Factory. They call it Chocolate Sundays. Um, there were six of us, and we had a great time. And then we walked around LA Live and we went to the yard house to get something to eat. I didn't take any videos of that, but here's a few pictures from the actual comedy show. And we had a great time. It was funny. There were comedians, um, not like well-known comedians, but um, they were all funny. Um, and this is what I got after we left the comedy show. I got the salad, which was a two out of 10. And I got some guacamole and chips so anyway that is what i did on my birthday weekend in la my 50th birthday um i didn't show you every single wait did i yeah yes i did never mind i did show you everything pretty much except for stuff like going to the store going to target or cbs or whatever other than that i've showed you everything i did and ate 
Um, basically, as you saw, I was doing a lot of leftovers. Like I would get a meal and then I would have it left for leftovers for snack and dinner or something along with, you know, I brought tangerine. So I was having that or some nuts and stuff like that. I ate so much sodium that I feel like I need, so, uh, what is it? Compression socks. My legs, the bottom of my legs are like so full and hard. Like that's what happens when I eat too much sodium or sometimes in the summertime it does that and I don't like it. So I need like to recoup. The next couple of days I'm going to be eating a lot of fruit and um, salads and just like low sodium so that I can re, uh, what do you call it? Undo what I did over the weekend because I feel heavy. I feel, ugh. I'm scared to look at the scale tomorrow because I know, well, I'm not going to speak that, but there's a possibility I might have gained some weight because, you know, but it's just water, sodium weight. So I got to make sure I work on that over the next few days. And I want it all off by this weekend. You guys have no idea how excited I am to get back to my normal routine of eating. Like my normal high raw lifestyle. I miss it. I don't like eating out every day, uh, especially multiple times a day in regular life. Of course, that only happens when I go on vacations and out of town and stuff so I'm very happy I mean I miss LA and I miss my events and everything for my birthday but I don't I don't like the way I feel eating out all the time so I'm happy to get back to some normalcy although the food was good it's just like too much you know I should have got more raw foods out there I probably would have felt a lot better but I had a lot of cooked foods and I guess I just needed stuff that was heavy um Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe if you like this kind of content, plant-based lifestyle stuff and women over 45 and menopausal and whatnot. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. It will be in the description below and make sure you let me know you're watching. I forgot to show you something. So this was November 24th and I got over 11,000 steps. Um, so that's good. I was making sure I got steps in every day, um, burn, you know, to help burn extra calories. And I was, and I worked out twice. So anyway, I thank you guys for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.